Jane, lots of people that I've spoken to think that dyscalculia is just dyslexia in maths. Uh, are they right to think that? Um, not really, um, although dyscalculia is rather where dyslexia was about 30 years ago. Right. So there's a lot of debate about does dyscalculia exist as a separate condition. So if we go back to your question, um, dyslexia can affect maths. But many dyslexics are very good conceptually at maths, but maybe can't learn the number facts. That's not dyscalculia. Mm. So really, dyscalculia is quite a serious and thankfully quite rare um, persistent congenital condition. And dyscalculics really don't even have a basic feel for number. So that's very different from the dyslexic who's poor at maths. So, so what do they have and what defines their, their condition? Um, well, I suppose in the past it was known as number blindness. Right. Um, that's a little simplistic, so it's better to think that they don't really have a feel for number, not an intuitive feel for number. And um, so, what does that mean? I mean, um, I'm just looking here that they a very poor number concept. And what does that actually mean that they can't? That they can't. They can't count. I mean, what? I mean, what is the? It really means they haven't got a natural feel for quantities. They might be able to count one, two, three, four, five, but they don't really have a sense of the fiveness of five, okay. or the fact that an egg box always has six spaces waiting for the six eggs. Right. So it's more about the sixness of six or the fiveness of five is the feel for quantities. Um, Professor Brian Butterworth at University um, College London, he's come up with. Um, the main idea that perhaps there um, is a lack of development of numerosity and this is what we're talking about. Numerosity means the sense that a group of items has a again it's the sixness of six, the numerosity of a number of items um, that you see in front of you because most of us see two or three items on the table and we instantly know there are two or three on the table. Whereas dyslexic children and um, dyscalculic children, um, I didn't mean to say dyslexic <laughs> children, um, might actually count in ones, one, two, three. And that's called subitizing. Okay. If you can just look at a small collection of objects and know that there are only three there without counting.